you know, it's like I feel like every time I start a project, I say, I don't know what I'm doing, but I really feel like this needs to happen. Yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. And, it's yeah. Like that. Yeah. and it's like, why are you, you know, it's like making space. It's making space for the things that are kind of inevitable, but mm-hmm. that have a deep, deep, deep logic. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And the yeah. artwork sorts it out. Yeah, exactly. And, and the sort of giving the room for the artwork to sort it out is like, for me, that that is key. Otherwise, it's like, what's the exercise? In my work, I kind of, I start to, I just kind of re, like reclaim that sense of a future. And you're talking about this sort of idea of world building, but we're kind of building that world of the future or in it and they're for me they're like these momentary artifacts um, often um, whether they're in the performance or in the kind of sculptural realm um, but often I, I see the work kind of sitting I and mean, they sit in the present but they don't quite sit in the present they yeah. they they kind of push back to, to some some memory that I can't quite grasp because of all the disruptions in my history like I, this there's so much that I can't claim in my own history because I don't know it I don't um, and that those sort of those kind of cultural disruptions that are kind of repeated in kind of these cyclical fashions over time like you know obviously the, the big one starting with transatlantic slavery and that kind of ultimate rupture yeah. right but still there's sort of you know obviously there's you know you know, it's present in, in black music, in black dance, and like there's sort of this, this way that even the culture, that, that total rupture that we were inflicted upon, we still have this sort of presence in our, in our bodies yeah. and in our minds and in our emotional lives, um, in the rhythms that we, that we encounter and so on. Um, so the, who's my train of thought? It's perfect. Uh, <laughs> <Okay. Falling. laughs> But yeah, so yeah, this sort of this attempt to kind of find that past or allow that past mm-hmm. to emerge, but then kind of projecting it as, as these things that are almost from the future or from a, a kind of a, or from a different space. Yeah. Like they're not quite from here. They're, yeah. they're slightly from somewhere else. It's a funny, it's like an intuitive space. I don't know how to hold on to that space. I just, you know, try to let that happen in the work because yeah. that seems to be the push and the pull yeah. for me. Like I, I, you know, I want this, I want this idea of the future. I don't quite know what the future, what the future I want is. Mm-hmm. And I want to have access to this kind of past, but I have no way of like, it's been so, so broken. I mean, not, it's like, you know, Slavery, but also my my own family's like choosing to migrate from from Jamaica, which is you know all about the kind of poli- internal politics of Jamaica at that time, mm-hmm. what what was and what was possible in there, which is which in itself is a legacy of yeah. um, colonization and slavery, right? So so that's another repetition of yeah. that. This is always my question: it's like these worlds I want to build, like how do they continue past the moment yeah. of that encounter or that process or that conversation and then like and then it's so easy to feel quite defeating <laughs> at the moment like that just kind of it's like it's heartbreaking yeah because all the things maybe you're dealing with were just like the reality like, you know it's just sort of like the moon just torn over yeah like, you can't yeah. ignore that that is yeah like, now that's this is what it is yeah what it, which is what it's always been maybe yeah right? yeah and that's like that's that's so hard i always find that so hard that you know you're in a room and you make a kind of space or you're in a project you make a kind of space and then very quickly then you see how it can't be yeah but yeah. then my thing is like we have to keep trying yeah <laughs> we have to keep trying yeah. And, and yeah. Just, yeah and i think that kind of draws me to the you know the art space in a way that there's a promise um you know it does give grant you permission to this like i People ask me, oh, what are you doing? He's like, I'm an artist. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know. <laughs> like, oh. Okay, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. And it does kind of give you a little bit more latitude. You uh, know, when I started dancing, kind of like, I'm going to dance, I only did ballet for some reason. Uh-huh. Because I, and it was my choice. Like, no one was like, you have to go do ballet. And I was like, I'm going to do ballet. 
And I think there was something about it being really strict. Yeah. Um, something about it being way too hard. Yeah. Uh, and something about it being completely unachievable that was like very uh, enticing. And I'm just, and it, let me, unachievable in what? Um, what way? Because it is about an anatomical, like a kind of body. Yeah. That in terms of like mobility of joints and like length of neck, like there's all these weird, which we can, you know, we can talk about and that's related to slave trade later. Yeah. Um, check your teeth, make, you know, uh, that I don't have. Like yeah. I look like a dancer because I'm short and I'm skinny. Yeah. And I have long legs. But I don't have these mobilities yeah. uh, that you're supposed to have to be a dancer. Uh, or this classical Badly. dancer. Yeah. And I have a butt. And that yeah. was always such a huge problem for my teachers. Oh, it's too bad. Oh, that's great. My whole life, my whole life, but that's okay. Uh, you figure, you figure your way through yeah. it. So I felt in a way like I would never be able to do it. And I'm very much one of those people who's like, oh, you can't do that. I'm like, yeah. So there was something about the pursuit of it. But then I also started taking modern dance and that uh, in Ottawa. Yeah. And that was more, there was some, I was like, oh, one, uh, two, yeah. that feels kind of, rule breaky because I was like, yeah. like a very rule breaky yeah. part of myself and like uh, definitely was raised to be an independent thinker and to ask questions and to stand up for things that don't feel right. So there's so much that doesn't feel right that way. You know, it's just so rare that you kind of have the permission to dig in with somebody else. I, I often want to, but you know, we don't like we don't live in that world where that's like um, these conversations are are just regular. Yeah. Like, like we kind of have to kind of like bring it on the surface. Yeah, not too like difficult and yeah. not too maybe like you don't want to, you know. Yeah, it's the diplomacy thing, but it's like bad diplomacy. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> then you also then like, when do you get to it? Yeah. You know, I always say like so often. I try to get on starting terms really quickly with people. It's a joke. Like, I don't remember that. I'm not going to park anything quickly. But you know what I mean? Like, I want to get to yeah. that place yeah. where, like, there's been the, some disruption that yeah. you can't come yeah. back from. And mm -hmm. so now it's here. Yeah. You know, and that's sort of. So I also really appreciate how much you're willing to talk about the things you do in those vulnerable ways. It's nice when someone's like, I'm not going to do that. I feel like that all the time. Too much. They're like, well, you know, yeah. No, like, yeah. And that's like, all the best pieces are like that. All of them, it's like, I don't know why I'm doing this thing, but I'm just gonna keep doing <laughs> it. I'm gonna really do it. Like, I, and I and I still am gonna really do it, I'm really actually still not sure why I'm doing it. And even once it happens, you're still not yeah. sure. Yeah. I always find there is a little bit of like, a couple years later, 